to do some balance at one point. So when you're ba doing balance, it's really, really, it's harder to do balance when you're on one of those thick uh, Pilates mats or on a carpet, something that, that a surface that's just quite squidgy. Um, it's the easier, easiest is to use a, like a wooden floor, like a hard floor, uh, either with no mat or with a thin, grippy yoga mat. It's actually really worth uh, getting a, a decent yoga mat because, good morning yogi, uh, getting a good yoga mat um, just uh, helps with the grip so that you don't slide around. Okay, so come, just come to lie down on your mat. Um, as I'm saying, we're gonna work quite hard today. So because this is a power yoga class. So in a power yoga class, the aim is to really get that energy going so that you have that lovely kind of like boom feeling um, after and um, during the practice and a little bit of sweating. So as you can see, my lovely yoga assistant here, Logan, is nice and settled down on his mat. And he is a real example for all of us <laughs> of how to just really get, take it down. So good morning, yogis. Um, so just come lying down to, onto, onto your mat and maybe for the first time today, and maybe for the first time this week, maybe for the first time ever, turn your gaze inside and just find your breath there you know and just pray, take your take your right hand onto your abdomen just below your navel and your left hand there onto your heart and just let your with the inhale your heart swell up into the palm of your hand swelling up with unconditional love and on the exhale just breathe and let it all go and just let go of any negative thoughts, little tiny seeds of doubt or anxiety or of fear or any kind of things, even thoughts that you think about a person when someone's really annoying you and you sort of go, oh, right, on the exhale, let's just let that go because today, we are powering up, this is a power yoga class, but we're also letting go. And through that real raising up of that really vibrant energy, that's when you can really like shum, make things happen. Really make some positive changes and differences in this world of delusion, really. World of delusion and vex. Let's just focus on the things that really do matter. You know, not on things that they seem so big, they occupy so much time, but actually, do you know what? They're not really, it's just an illusion. And that little comment definitely applies to me because I have spent a lot of time on BS over the last week and not enough time on focus and positivity. So good morning yogis. While we're waiting for this class to fill up, just come to lie down on your mat, find your breath, right hand on your abdomen, left hand on your heart, find your inhale and your exhale and with the inhale feel that rise in your energy and with the exhale letting it all go. Yeah? So we are going to go quite quickly straight into this in the next couple of minutes. So just, just do what Logan's doing here, which is just completely submit yourself to this moment and to just let everything outside of this mat. We've already cleared the rooms out. We've got the furniture out of the way. We've got the people out of the way. We've got the kids out of the way. Good morning, yogis. So, with that, let's just really enjoy the fact and take Logan as being my little student here of to show you how to really let go. Look at that lovely little dog. He's completely, he's completely like let go of all his problems and he's just lying down there 
um, doing some quite um, yogic deep breathing. But it's just really found his flow. So let's take the example of Logan for starting our class and just yeah. So just lie, lie down back nice and flat on the floor and just follow the inhale and the exhale and as I said earlier just any you know we're really going because we're powering up we have to let go of all the seeds of negativity first so just letting go of all the seeds of negativity I'm just checking that my other clock on yeah um yeah and with the next inhale just bring your knees in towards your chest and then roll those knees over to the left side and take your gaze over to the right. So just a nice starting twist. So knees into the chest, roll over and up onto your left hip, taking those knees over to the floor on the left side, and let your head go to the right. So knees that way, head that way. And just really enjoy that nice opening up twist. Take a big deep inhale there right up into the collarbones exhale let it go let's do that together inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth once more inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth gently now roll those knees back into the center and right the way over straight over to the right side so right the way up on the right hip, knees over to the right side, gaze over to the left. Just enjoying that really nice opening spinal twist. Enjoy this nice bit of uh, relaxation stuff because we're going to get into some good powering up stuff in a moment because we're just going to jump straight into it. Because I know lots of people on Instagram are a bit like, oh, I haven't got the time to sit here for so long. We all have the time to do some yoga because the times that we're not doing yoga, we're worrying about rubbish. So let, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And at the end of that neck, exhale. Bring your knees back into the center. Take your hands behind the back of your thighs. Your thumbs are just creeping out on each side. Bring your knees up, just roll up and down the spine. And pausing each time at the top to balance. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. And the next one's the last one. Inhale up. Pause. If you can extend your legs, straighten your legs. If that's just not, you're not ready for that yet, bend your knees. Jump back a little bit so you can see. And these, so we're here, we're in the Vasana boat. If you can do it, let go of the knees. Okay, take a big inhale, exhale, lower to hover at low boat. Inhale, rise. Ex this is our yogi sit up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Take hold of the back of your thighs. Set yourself again, and then just, if you can, straighten your legs, or straighten them as much as you can do. Separate your knees and your feet. Take your arms, hands in between your knees. Exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, right. Inhale, exhale, left. Inhale, exhale, right. Inhale, exhale, left. Very good. Inhale, exhale, right, finish. Cross the knee, cross the feet. Take hold of your big toes and come up to sitting. When you're at sitting, just roll over those knees and come back into tabletop. Okay, from tabletop, take your left leg back out behind you. Straighten that leg, flex the foot, power up your thigh. Take an inhale, exhale, lift that leg off. Bend the knee and take the right hand out in front of you. Really stretch through now, straighten that back leg. Really power through, waking your, up your core. Exhale back down with the hand, take the left hand now out in front. Ooh. 
Take the left hand round to grab the left foot and push into the hands, keeping your shoulders and hips facing forward. Exhale down. Right leg. Right leg comes off, right leg bends, left arm out. And then straighten the right leg. So you're powering through the left fingers to the right heel. Inhale, exhale down. Now it comes up. We are balancing thing. So the thing to do is move this left hand a little bit towards the center. Take the right hand off and then grab. <laughs> and then don't do what I just did, which was not. That shows that it's tricky. Here you go. Move that back behind you. Focus. First focus of the day. Let go. Tuck your feet under. Start to die. I'm facing dog. <laughs> Lift the right leg up behind you. Step forward. We're going straight into high lunge. Try and redeem myself. Inhale. Exhale. Straight into warrior two. Exhaling, left hand down, right hand to right ear. Lift up, over, looking under your right armpit. So really, the thing here is to lift up out of that waistline, really stretch that waist, that stuck bit there. Exhale, come back to warrior two, and just push and extend through the fingers. You're really powering down the arms. Inhale and then exhale, bring that right uh, forearm to your right uh, thigh. Left hand up to left ear, lift up and then over and look under your left shoulder. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be, be, be able to balance today, I don't think I'm too distracted. Exhale back through warrior two, pivot round on your back foot. Hands down, I can blame Logan for occupying our app. Step back to down facing dog. Inhale and exhale, set it. Right, left leg rises. Left leg steps forward, come up to high lunge, and then turn around into warrior two. So when you're in warrior two, oh, it's already funny. Um, you know, I, I see it all the time, but anyway, Extend through your fingers. This is the power of your pose. But exhale, right hand, fingertips onto the right thigh. Left arm comes, really straight arm, stretch up and over, looking under your left armpit. Uh, I wish I could find such a lot fewer to all the other things that I have to do. Inhale, back through warrior two, pause again for a moment. Really feel the energy and the power in this pose. Inhale, exhale. Drop that forearm down to that thigh. Lift that arm, right arm to right ear and really extend through that right arm as you look under the armpit. Again, it's that lifting up of this like what my son always calls my podgy bit. That little podgy bit there, which gets quite still because we tend to sit around a bit too much. So really, keeping yourself in that nice straight plane. Inhale, exhale, back through warrior two, rotate. Hands down to either side of your front foot. Back to downward facing dog, excellent. This time, we're going to, uh, right leg rises, sorry. Right leg straight out behind you, inhale, and this time bring that knee to the outside of the right elbow. Inhale, rise, exhale, now you're twisting it over, the knee to left elbow. Inhale, rise. Once again, right elbow, your rise. Now you're going to left elbow. Now, unfortunately, Logan is right in my way for doing that, so I'm gonna have to. Left elbow, take the foot out on the left side and come up. So that looks like this. 
Sorry. <laughs> okay, pull and start. Inhale, exhale now. Take that right, right leg round. Step the left foot on top of the right and you're in side plank. Lift up through the waist. Find your balance. You can even take that leg up. Bring the hand, left hand down. Two options here now we're back in plank. One is to power through a vinyasa. Or just come straight back to down facing dog. Going to do the same thing on the other side. So this is left leg right up. So left leg back out behind you. Take the left knee to the outside of the left elbow. I can do that, I'm sure enough. So left leg rises outside the left elbow. Inhale up, exhale right elbow. Inhale up, exhale outside of the left elbow. Inhale up, outside of the right elbow. Touch the foot down and come up to fallen star. Inhale and then exhale, bring that leg under the right, under the right foot on a side plank. It's quite a simple transition. Inhale, find your balance. Maybe you want to go a bit fancy. Three. Inhale, exhale, back to plank. Power it down through a vinyasa. Back to downward facing dog. Very, very good. Don't do what I just did there, or just come out to that. Stay in your downward facing dog and take five breaths. Inhaling, exhale, exhale. This is a bit where we're going to come through now to um, your balance. So I'm actually going to turn right back round again. <laughs> Inhaling, take the right leg up, step the leg through in between your fingers, come up to a high lunge. When you're in that high lunge, then rotate on the back foot to warrior two, yeah? Now that you're in warrior two, you're gonna straighten the front leg, reach forward with the right hand and come down to triangle. And when you're in triangle, take that right back of the right hand to the inside of the right thigh, leg, calf. <laughs> and reach up with the left hand. Looking up at the left fingertips. Six, stand. Then inhale. Come back up to warrior two. This time back to rotate, but this time we're going to go forward in one step to warrior three. First balance, here we go. Take your hands to your hips and just step forward. Take the hands out behind you, palms to ceiling. Oh, I've just stepped off, hang on. So I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see me. Okay, foot is flexed at the back, find your balance. And then nice and slowly in one other complete movement, bring the knee up. Left knee comes up. Take the left hand to the outside of the left knee, cup the knee and bring that knee out to the side. I'm just going to turn so that you can see. Out to the side. Take hold of the front of the ankle and bring it into a tree. There you go, take your hands up overhead. Stand into the fingertips, that's it, yogis. Doing very well. And as I always say about um, balance, it really, the balance is in this leg, so really use your glute muscles at the back and your bum to lift up and push the inside of your thigh into the, in, into the sole of that foot and you'll find that it's 
that that's a good way of balancing. I'm not going to say it's easier because some people, it just practice. If you find that really practically impossible, just take your soul of your foot to your cup. Because at least that's step one to getting to what getting to balance. Lift up with your hands through the center line, foot gracefully back on the mat. Gracefully back on the mat, just find a moment to focus. Now <laughs> Big breath. We're going to vinyasa back down to downward facing dog. So take the arms out to the side. Bring your hands up overhead and swan dive down to the floor. Bending your knees as much as you need to to get your hands flat on the floor. Step right back. Step right leg back and left leg back to plank. Hover at 90 degrees, chaturanga forward upward facing dog and then flip over your feet to downward facing dog inhale exhale you can do the same on the other side stretch your left foot back behind you step forward to high lunge so then from high lunge rotate on that back foot warrior good morning yogi you're not too late to join in just jump straight into warrior <laughs> warrior two. <laughs> Inhaling. Straighten the front leg. I nearly forgot I was doing that. Reach forward with your left hand. Bring that left arm down to the inside of your left calf. Bring the right hand up to the ceiling. Take your gaze up to the right hand. You're in triangle. So in triangle, you want to try and maintain this nice kind of like slim line rather than toppling forward it's not a case of oh i really want to get to the floor you're not going forward you're actually going excellent looking up at your palm take a big inhale and exhale back to warrior two that front leg bend rotate now round to face the front so it's going to one step into warrior three, okay? So the way to do that is just to sort of gently, the way not to do it is to push, launch yourself off the back foot, yeah? Because if you launch yourself off the back foot, you just get too wobbly. What you want to do is just this nice lean, put the weight in the front foot and then gracefully stay back foot off. your balance, shoulders and hips facing forward and then very gracefully bring the right knee in. You're just going to step forward. Oh, this, my lovely little dog is such a lovely distraction. So your, your right knee, take your right hand and cup over the front of your right knee. Take that right knee out to the side. Yeah, right knee out to the side. <laughs> Take over the front of your ankle and bring that sole of the foot to your inner seam on your um, leggings or trousers or whatever you're wearing. And then when you're ready, let go. And as I said, power up the other leg, actioning the glute muscle, glutes on the bum at the back, and this thigh here. So the front thigh is like sternly rotating out pushing in through through the inner leg into that sole of the foot so the inside leg inhale arms up let's get the power of that tree and bring it all the way down to our hearts and gracefully come back down to standing let's just take a moment close down the eyes and just very gently with your thumbs just push back onto your sternum and as you push back onto your sternum just feel how your shoulders just gently slide down the back and there's a little bit more space between the bottom of your shoulders bottom of your ears and the top of your shoulders and just push back just to closing down the eyes just to feel your own inner, inner vibration 
touch into your own universe. This is where all everything's happening. Let's just thank our yoga practice for being available to us and thank each other for coming together today for this said quite Hanarata yoga practice. Let's inhale together through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let's do that once again because it was lovely. Inhale through the nose, exhale. Inhale, bring your hands to connect overhead, swan dive down with it straight back. And as you come down, just bend the knees as much as you need to, to get the hands flat on the floor. And then, step back left this time, step back right, you're back in the um, plank. If you want to go straight into downward dog, that's fine, otherwise let's bring Nyasa through. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, very, very, very good. Take a big inhale now, exhale to sitting. That was a nice little jump, just jump forward to sitting. And just take a moment once again to just find your seat, find your little seat, find that um, so that you feel like you're really out of time to do that. Oh. Exhale, turn the body over to face your left knee. Take your right hand outside of your left knee and just twisting over to the left side, lean over to the right. And you'll get this lovely um, stretch again through that, activating that energy, which can be quite dead. And what you want to do is push that knee into that hand, left knee into right hand and lean right the way over. Take a big inhale there and then exhale, release. Come back to the center. And when you're at the center with the fingertips on the mat, walk forward, keeping your back nice and straight, which means that we're not doing this. Looking forward, keeping your back nice and straight. But oh, I just, I just rustled my little yogi dog there. So, looking to the horizon so don't drop the head down and don't arch your back resist that temptation and look forward inhale exhale come back up change the cross of your legs so your left uh, calf is in front once again left arm up right arm come up to meet it turn your body over to face the right knee take the left hand outside of the right knee, twisting round to the right, take the left, take the right hand up to the right ear and lean over, pushing that knee into that hand to just stop, if you don't push that knee into that hand you'll just go like that, oh god, so you, you know you're doing it right, you really push into that hand and then you can really lift up and out if that just helps you, it's like easy guide to doing a lovely side stretch, it really is. Exhale, come back to center and let's go forward once again. Fingers, little claw fingers, tips to the mat, walk forward. And really nice long, elongating the spine there. Step forward, that's it, lovely. Come back up to sitting. And just take a moment once again. the eyes and just let the energy of the flow just power around. Yeah. Inhale together, exhale, let it go. Inhale together, exhale, let it go. Uncross the legs. Take the soles of your feet to the mat and your knees high, arms out in front and lower down tucking the tailbone under as you roll down to your mat yeah very good 
inhaling now walk the your feet in towards your bum enough that uh, your fingertips can touch the back of your heels we're going to do a bridge pose so let's get there head is facing the ceiling tuck your tailbone under and just lift up gently lower back middle back onto top of your shoulders and as you do that this, you're pushing into your feet on the mat this is where the nice grippy mat comes in and you're really activating your thighs getting a really lovely safe back bend there with your knees going forward inhale top and exhale now and as you exhale really nice and slowly put each vertebrae down one by one and it's a lovely and as you come down again tuck the tummy and the tailbone in so that you're able to almost place each vertebra down one by one and then you're settled at the bottom we're going to do that again so just walk the knee the feet in again touch the uh, feet with the fingertips so again tuck your tailbone under it's just a very small tuck the tailbone under and lifting from the tailbone feel that your lower back middle back upper back that's the spine really bent making this beautiful wonderful curve as your legs are activated you push into your feet you're right up on your shoulders and it's almost like your knees are going forward there's one straight line from the feet knees hips shoulders a big inhale exhale down Sit vertebra by vertebra. Very, very good. Pause at the bottom and then gently lift your knees off the mat. Take hold of your knees and bring your knees towards your chest. Your knees are, are apart, they're just at either side of your body, and then take the soles of the feet up to the ceiling. Grab the outside of your uh, ankles or shins or your feet and bring your um, knees towards your armpits so they're going shh like this and then give that back a nice little massage -y. nice massage rolling from side to side perfecto rolling from side to side just really enjoy that and then find some stillness there at the center inhale exhale let it go Inhale, stretch your feet up to the ceiling. And keeping your, so when you're doing this, this is called a uh, waterfall. So it's just, just, I invite you to just very slightly move those thighs away from you. And now you can feel that your tailbone is really flat on the mat or on the floor. And now you will feel that actually your thighs are going to start to shake in a little minute. Hands by your side and palms facing upward. D one, one is thinking, oh, I'll just do that. Don't, don't do that because that's actually cheating. It would be better to bend your uh, knees a little bit, keeping your back nice and flat on the floor all the way down to your tailbone. I don't know if you're allowed to say cheating, uh, but you know what I'm saying. Keep that core activated, making sure that there's not a little space there at the back of your waistband. You know where you go like that? Oh, because it seems like it's a bit easier, but it's actually terrible for your back, so don't do that either. <laughs> don't do that because we don't want you to hurt your back. Okay, inhale, exhale, cross right leg over left. Maybe you can come all the way around into eagle legs. And if you can, Great. If you can't, just cross the right leg over right. Bring the knees in towards your chest and then roll over on the left hip to take the left knees down onto the floor. Take your right hand up and really roll your hand over to your right side, to the floor on your right side and your head follows that hand. And really scratch through the fingers on the right side so that you get this lovely kind of sense of um, 
you know, the spinal twist is quite kind of medieval. Sometimes it makes me feel like I'm being quite medieval doing this. But it also, what it does is give you a lovely massage through these digestive organs and through that waistline. Inhale, exhale, really extend through the fingertips on the right side, making sure that these knees are nice and rested on the floor. You might want to take a hand onto the thigh to keep them down. You don't necessarily have to have this hand, the right hand on the floor, but just stretching out to the right side so you get this lovely extension through those pecs. Inhale deeply, exhale out through the right fingertips. Inhale up to the collarbones and exhale through the fingertips. Unravel your legs now. Come back to center with the knees. Let's go back up to waterfall. Moving those thighs away for just a moment. Cross the left over the right. Eagle legs are just crossed. Bring the knees into your chest and roll over to the right side, which I can't do because Logan's there. Roll the knees over to the right side and then Follow that left hand over to the left side and extend through the fingertips. So same thing, inhaling right the way up to the collarbones and with the exhale, extend through the fingertips. So inhaling right the way up to the collarbones, exhale through. Just really loving that kind of like, gives us magical um, massage and lovely, oh, you know, that, that just doesn't happen, does it, in normal life? Where, where do you get all these um, fantastic magical moves in normal life? It's impossible. Inhale, unravel your legs, take your legs back to center, bring them straight up to the ceiling for the last time. Inhale and ex exhale through the heels, and then slowly and with lots of control, don't just dump those legs down to the floor. Control them down. Feet, legs come down to the floor and boom, you're there. Move the arms away from your body and your palms are facing upwards and close down the eyes. And just really let that energy, that very, very powerful energy uh, flow around. Just circulate around. You don't have to do anything else now. Just let that magic happen. <laughs> Enjoying the respite from the world for what is it, 50 minutes? 40 minutes. Just let your face be calm. The space between your forehead. Let it just be free and calm and your eyes, eyes rolling back, back of the eyes, dark and closed and relaxed. Your jaw, take a big inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth, gently exhaling. So inhaling, exhale, nice and soft. Inhale, exhale. Once more, inhale, exhale, just let it all go. And let's just have two minutes of complete silence.
eyes softly. Just bring yourself back into your space. Put your fingers and your feet a little shake, wiggle. Inhaling now, raise your arms over your head to the floor behind you and stretch out through the fingertips and the toes. Stretch out that one big long line. Inhale and then exhale, let that go and bring the knees in towards your chest. Take your hands round and over the front of your shins. Give yourself a loving little squeeze. Rolling over to one side coming up to sitting. Let's finish this together. Just coming up to sitting in a nice easy pose. Back's nice and straight, that's stuff in life. Let's sit up nicely. Take your gaze to the horizon. arms out by your side and your palms facing up. We're just going to close our energy or it's very important to close the energy ball. Inhaling, bring the palms to face the ceiling, drawing this golden circle of light around you. Connect the fingertips overhead and bring the palms towards the floor. And just visualize that golden energy ball, that thread of light connects us, inhaling once again, palms face the ceiling, drawing a golden light around ourselves, to hold that wonderful positive energy inside, exhale, palms come all the way down to your abdomen. Once more, last time, palms facing the ceiling, let's draw that golden ball. Visualize that golden light, the golden aura around you. Connect the fingers overhead, then connect the palms into prayer. Take a big inhale and exhale to your forehead, just touching your forehead for right thoughts. May the seeds loving kindness and joy grow. Inhale deeply and exhale to the lips for words of kindness and joy and love, love for yourself, love to all beings. Inhale deeply, exhale to your heart center and just gently with your thumbs, just pushing softly back on your throne for right actions actions of love, kindness, joy, positivity for yourself, for your friends and family, for all beings. Inhale deeply and exhale crossing the palms across your heart. As you inhale feel your heart swell up into the palm of your hand as your unconditional love grows and swells. The powerful energy that we have created. Inhale, exhale, palms face forward as we extend that unconditional love with powerful energy to our friends, to our family, to the people in our street, our city, to the whole world. May everyone feel our powerful energy of kindness and love and joy. Take a big inhale together and an exhale through the mouth. Once more, nice and softly. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Very well done, Lord Yogis. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for being you, for making it to the mat today and doing some yoga. You know, we spend a lot of time worrying about things and then we think that we can't do yoga for 40 minutes. It's quite amazing. I spend hours worrying and thinking and about things that really don't serve me and then I say I haven't got the time to do yoga. What a piece of nonsense. So may all of you have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful week and
rest of the week, it doesn't really matter because everything is one and everything just falls into